What's the word, yo? You know what it is. It's your boy Big Will back with another episode of Life After Prison. Let's get it started. So we're going to speak on this little Kelpie situation because I'm seeing him on all kind of videos talk about him getting slapped around by Almighty Suspect. First of all, first off, if you're here, hit that like and subscribe. Or if you come across my channel, hit the like and subscribe. Right? But, um... Let's get into this. Before we even get on Kelpie. Anybody with the name Suspect? Yo, almighty, I'm Suspect. If you got yo, a Suspect in your name, you're already fucking Suspect. You're already shaky, right? Like, who would even call themselves that? Almighty Suspect. Yeah, you're almighty, you're shaky. Um... One thing I can say about little Kelpie here is that when he says you hit like a biot, you got to. You got to because this little 110 pound half a little boy himself, this damn near 18 with no hair on his balls and he's sitting down and you get up and clock him with all you got, right? Spit on him and you hit him with a two-piece, three-piece, and you can't even knock him, you can't, you can't even you, like, you can't even phase that kid. That kid got right up, looked at you, still called you a <laughs> called you it again to your face. That's the only thing I give a little call before, um, Okay, not being a not being a bitch is uh you know he stood up to you and he's calling and he's telling you how it is. Now the thing that I don't like about him going on different interviews and he's saying me and Almighty need that fade, set that up, tell your boss to set that up, and he's saying shit like that. Like, dude, who's he gonna call? Like, yo, you don't have a manager. Why don't you just tell him where you are, drop your addy, let him show up if he wants, or, or, or you find out where he is, show up, and get the fade. Well, what says get your manager in street politics and all? Oh, if there's a bag or even if there's no bag involved, you said, just tell your, tell your boss to set that up. Like, who are you talking about, Adam? You want Adam to set up the fade between you and Almighty? Clearly, you're still clout chasing, you know, and, and hey, respect to you getting your getting your your clout, you know what I'm saying? Your, the things that things that are happening around you, are, uh, you know, bringing the viral on this out and you and it uh, it's helping. But dude, I think first before you hit a fade with Almighty, you better have a fade with. One of the island boys. <laughs> and if you can get through them, then you can move on. <laughs> That's a fight I pissed myself watching and laughing. But come on, let's go. Let's listen to him. Oh, it's Lil Kelpie, a.k.a. Kelpie the P. Matter of fact, call me whatever you want, just don't call me broke. Now, Kelpie the P, what does P stand for? Play a pimp or pussy. What is it? Little Kelpie the Pussy? Come on, man. Yo, yo, little stranger self. Come on. Today, I'm talking to y'all about the whole uh, no jumper be down situation because I know people are going to want me to speak on this. And it's late at night. I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? I'm high. I'm ready to go to sleep. What I, I can say is it definitely out. wasn't a beat. So though. that, you know what I'm saying? Basically, you guys can hear the story because y'all was requesting it. Now I want to start off by saying I ain't on no type of like net beef and like, oh, I'm going to do this and this and this, you know, after the fact type shit, bro. What happened is real simple. You know what I'm saying? I came onto that show with a different type of energy than I had in the first interview that I did with Sharp and Almighty. And this time I was like, you know what? They posted the last one when they was being disrespectful. So I'm going to match the energy this time. You know what I'm saying? Because... I didn't want to match the energy in the first one, like I said before, because I was scared they wouldn't post it. The whole thing would have been a waste of time. So I go into this one like, oh, well, the dude still disrespected me. 
So I'm gonna do the same shit right back to him. And then I got spit on and then smacked up. But I called him a bitch and that still stands. I still think he's a bitch, but it's real simple as to what happened. You know what I'm saying? I got beat. I said something that got me beat. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't really that hard to... Uh... That's the one thing I can give you props for is you, you, you're not making excuses for what happened. You said something, you got slapped up. And that's just the way it happened. Now, the embarrassing part is you can't call someone a bitch or think they're a bitch when they hit you with the two-piece. Come on, man. You, you, you can have some kind of disrespect for him, but you thinking he's a bitch and he just put the, two, the hands to you and you didn't even do nothing. Like, you could have took that right outside. Hell if I'm not going to tell a man, let's go to hell outside after he just put his hands on me. If he got that far. Okay? Me and you are two different type of species. You know, I, 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 I grew up in the streets. Right? You grew up in the sticks. You're 20 years old and your mother's still putting braces on you. Come on. Come on, little boy. <laughs> they have Invisalign today. Come on, you're still a little boy. To, uh, to decipher or read between the lines on that, because there really is nothing. It It's something you could take at face value. Like, it is exactly what it looked like. As you can see, though, you know what I'm saying? My face is good. So you got my time is on. Yeah, nah. My face is all good, though. The only thing that y'all was seeing blood is because I got braces. So when I was getting punched by those weak-ass punches, and dude had a ring on, too, which is the only reason that I was, like, bleeding there, because when my skin hit the braces, like, a shit ton of blood just started squirting out because it's, like, all pokey in there and shit. So, uh, yeah, some blood was coming out, but nah. He hit like a bitch. I stand on what I said. I still think he's a bitch. You know what I'm saying? And... What I really wanted to speak on in regards to him, because I know y'all love the drama and the beef, but um, I just wonder where that energy was the multiple times he's been robbed. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, whatever that shit. But dude, you're saying he hits like a bitch, and when you watch it back, I've seen the un... the un... Uh, what do you call it? Filtered version, and... Man, your hands were going like you were drowning, my dude. Your hands were going... Ah. Like you were drowning, like you were looking for someone to throw you a raft. Come on, my dude. You got to get that fade with the island boys, one of them first, dude. <laughs> That's just what this kid reminds me of, an island boy. Shit happened with Swifty Blue. I don't know the specifics on that, but I know they had his chain. They took his chain. So you don't like, know the specifics? Don't speak on it. Bro? Like, you picked on me because you knew that I was sitting back and relaxed and I had the mic in front of me. So you swung on me, you know what I'm saying? You didn't ask to fade when I called you a bitch. You didn't take it outside, none of that shit, because I would have been. Dude, you didn't ask to fade either. You called him a bitch. What do you think's going to happen? He's a man. He said it. I'm a man. You call me a bitch, I'm swinging on you. You said it. Oh, I, I knew it was going to happen. I called him a bitch. I stand on it. Okay, so you stand on it. You call him a bitch, you stand on it, and look what happened. You be prepared to back it up. You don't catch a beating and then talk talk shit about it later. Nah, that ain't, that ain't respect. Would have been down for that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I got my ass beat. Do I think it was a fair fight? Nah. Do I think I would have rocked him if we had gone outside? Probably not, but I would have gotten more punches in. And it would have been more entertaining for the show because... During you don't even have the confidence in yourself. Do I have, am I sure, you know, if I would have went outside with him, would I have rocked him? Probably not. You're already saying right there that you ain't got the hands to throw back. So if you ain't got the hands to throw back, don't be throwing your mouth around. Because then the next time it's going to be worse. During the interview, bro, that was, I mean, it was goofy. Y'all seen it, like, yeah, I got my ass beat. Yeah, I was asking for it by calling him a bitch, but he is a bitch. You know what I'm saying? And... It was goofy. Eh, 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 eh. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree with you. He is a bitch.
him not matching the energy and getting his chain took kind of just proves that. And I feel like the whole reason that he went and uh, and swung on me like that and didn't take the disrespect, even though we was on camera, is because he's trying to change that narrative about himself. Everybody knows Almighty a bitch. Nobody thinks that he's, you know, the toughest gangbanging dude out there. Right? Everybody knows he's a bitch. So he was like, oh, well, maybe maybe if someone calls me a bitch and I show them that, you know, I'm, I'm about my respect and all that. And I start swinging on a mid interview. That's going to change the narrative about me and shit. In all honesty, like, I know I got my haters that going to hate me regardless of how this had, had turned out. You know what I'm saying? I could have whooped his ass and that shit would have, you know, I still would have had my haters. But I feel like a lot of people are seeing this for what it is in terms of almighty's a bitch. I'm not saying I would have won the fight, but he obviously picked an easy target. Me being relaxed, laid back, six years younger than him, you know what I'm saying? Age don't mean nothing, my dude. Let's just get that out of the way. I'm younger, I'm a kid, and he's a six years older, and so, so what? So you get up and you clock the shit out of him and tell him you want to act like a... You want to act... You want to act crazy with your hands and stuff, then you get smacked the shit back. That's what you do, you know? But it is what it is. I'm I'm not gonna go through the rest of the, the video. You guys know what it's about. If you want, you can look it up. Little Kelby speaks on this fight with Almighty. I just wanted to give my opinion. See what you all think. Uh, let me know if you think they he should he should have a fade with um the Island Boys. One of them, both of them. I don't know. Maybe he he should become the next member. I don't know. He looks like an Island Boy or he looks like that little um train wreck that's happening there and uh you know it might bring that he might give them some clout and they might give him clout and it just might be a marriage made in uh gate him you know but uh let me know what y'all think and uh i'll see you on the next one and hey, don't forget hit that like and subscribe button it's about like big will life after prison react to the video peace thanks for watching people like and subscribe Hit that notification bell. See you on the next one. Life after prison. Peace.